Hello guys and welcome back to Europa Universalis 4 playing as Brandenburg. So we just conquered uh, Königsberg and Danzig and Tuchel in the last war against the Teutonic Order. So we have a bunch of different things up here. First, we have war exhaustion so we won't call it just yet. And uh, we have got the local uh, militia policy running, uh, which is fine, we'll probably turn it off in six years. But we can... Oh, we need to call Königsberg first. Alright, so let's wait with that. But in the meantime, let's try and make friends with England uh, to get that uh, three points in diplomatic power. We are quite high here. Why is that? Oh, because we haven't gotten this yet. We can't afford it. Alright, uh, but that's fine. What is the max? 11.38, so we're almost maxed to an admin, but I think we have admin ideas running. Yes, so we'll take that. Bonk. Uh, let's continue. We might as well just claim a bunch of this. <laughs> Since we will want it at some point. But we'll, we have a piece now with the Tonic Order for some time. Uh, yes, let's pull him home. Okay. Not sure about this yet. I might just stay out of it, really. Even though you get a, a bonus for the, for joining, um, maybe we'll just stay neutral and then jump in when some of these countries are weak, as uh, one of my viewers uh, suggested. <laughs> um, even though it would be nice if we got the bonus, but uh, if the Protestants won, but I don't think the Protestants are going to win this. They seem a bit outmatched. The Ottomans haven't joined, France haven't joined, Spain hasn't joined. Oh wait, Spain is here, alright. Mm. England joined. We could join, but I would lose Hungary and the Emperor as my allies if I did that. So we're going to wait a bit longer. We're losing a lot of money. Is that because we have a big Merg army? Probably. Here. I don't like this. I don't like this. <laughs> so this truce ends when? Okay. Seventy-nine. All right. So fourteen years. Jesus. So we'll probably go west or north here. Okay. Oh, renewed. Yes. Okay. Uh, yes, we can do this. <laughs> mm -hmm. Could take it, but we're still five years ahead in time, so it's not that important. We can do what here? We can take, I don't know. Hmm. This, I suppose? No, Mercs. Merc Discipline, right. <laughs> when can we get level 2 forts? Tick 14. Oh, it's next level, alright. Well, we lost our marriage with these guys, so let's get a new one. Got a bunch of favor, let's use a bit. Hmm, well, it's not here. <laughs> oh, we maxed out here. Guess we need to do like this. Brun. Uh, this. Could also go war against Poland. Eat this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We should get uh, 25 diplomatic power. There we go. S thank you. Prussian expansion. Ah, there we go. Having united Brandenburg with Prussia, we now have the problem on how to defend the two halves of our realm. To make our realm a more defensible unit, we must conquer all of Prussia and just not the parts currently under our control. <laughs> Gain a bunch of claims, which is nice. Over here. 
So we want to do that at some point. We are maxed in states, right? Yes. You have three territories. When is the next state level? Level 17. Okay. So some time to go. Eleven fifty eight. Okay. All right. Very nice. It is of utmost importance. Yes. Demand. Uh, hmm. Yeah. I guess. It is still going down a bit. Well, not that because it's not a state. Uh, yeah. Okay. We can't statify this. Recall. Uh, okay. Yeah, we got a we got a bunch of loans to say the least. Let's take. Uh, no, no, half our mercs again. Let's do this. All right. Uh, whoops. Um. Oh, well, let's uh, court first. <laughs> oh, Russia is invading to twenty quarter. Huh? For what? Russian Lithuanian warp honor. All right. Hmm. Oh. Hello, Russia. Hmm. Let's see here. We want the clergy, I suppose. Hmm. Hmm. We could embrace, but still not really necessary. Still three years to go, so I guess we need to do an idea here. Inflation down, that's nice. Do a bit of inflation. And I guess we need to develop again. Mm, well, that's maxed. Alright, and Holstein. And here, no, here. And again. Fine. Okay. Got plenty of power projection, which is uh, very nice. Renewed another loan. Yeah. Circulation. Uh, hmm. I guess we can't take this because the institution spread has pretty much already happened. So that's fine. Oh, right. I forgot about rebels. Oh, and I forgot to turn it the fort on. Jesus. Hmm. Yes, can't really do much about that. Afraid so. Danzig. So I guess you're going to come over here. Yes. No. Um. Going here, maybe. Yes, all right. Splat. Go here. Let's call. <laughs> so, should we go after Dubek the next time? Let's check our coalition map mode here. So it's relatively low. Except on Dubek, I guess, and Bohemia and stuff like that, but that's fine. Okay, call Königsberg as well. I guess once we form Prussia, we would also get claims on this, I think. Permanent claims, so yeah. That's fine. Let's uh, use our diplomats to top off with. Austria and Hungary are two allies. <laughs> um, let's do that. Oh. I suppose we could also turn up Fort again. Königsberg. King's Castle? No. Maybe. I don't know. Slaves goes, goes up in a value. Alright. 
Canals to Berlin Köln. Köln. The heartlands of Brandenburg have long suffered a structural disadvantage from not being connected to the waterways in the area. To remedy this, we have arranged for a canal to be built between the, the Oder and the River Spree, which runs, runs through our capital of Berlin Köln. The trade and transport this could allow for would increase a local revenue and prosperity in our land for many years to come. And due to this, the amount of money already invested is not significant, insignificant. However, the task has proven more difficult than anticipated and the construction have now ground to a halt. The project is out of funds and the workers have put down their tools. Oh no. I think... Hmm, diplomatic power... No, that's too much influence. Ugh. Well, it's not too much, but... We need the money for loan, so let's get the nobles to help. How thoughtful. Uh, hmm. Yes, we need money. Okay. Oh, they certainly don't like us. Why not? Cossack raids. Oh. Sorry. Uh. So, have anyone else joined this thingy thing here? Not really. Well, I think more have joined the Catholics. Yeah, if that, if that war started now, the Protestants would get their ass kicked. Okay. If someone would pay our debts as well, that would, that, that would be nice. <laughs> but uh, yeah, not gonna happen, I think. Okay, come on. Hmm, we could go up here and start some claims. Get Lübeck, and I don't know how much we can take of this, of this but certainly a, maybe three, I think. We're not getting completely overrun by a coalition, I hope. <sighs> okay, um, let's see, okay, almost. <laughs> let's do like this. Convert this and form the Kingdom of Prussia. And there is only one king in the empire, the King of Bohemia. At the same time, our lands in Prussia are not a historic part of the empire. We just declare ourselves king in Prussia to reflect our greater, our, our grander st status and then the other electors. We change our country to Prussia. We become the Prussian Kingdom. No, the government changes to Kingdom. We gain one base tax in Wittenberg. Gain increased uh, centralization for uh, 10 years. We become the Prussian monarchy, which is low unrest, war exhaustion down, whoops, uh, autonomy, autonomy changes up once that starts to roll in, maximum absolutism up, and monarch military skill plus 3. And we have permanent claims on a bunch of stuff, and Berlin becomes Prussian. Yes! Do it! What a nice, nice uh, grey color. Okay, let's need to convert this again. So we got permanent claims here, right? Can we call? And we became a kingdom. Nice. And I guess we gained more states because we become became a kingdom. Hmm, I think so. Prussian monarchy plus two. And government rank, government rank plus five. Nice. So I guess we could statify everything. So let's do that. Yes. 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 Okay. Do this. And who wants what? The clergy? Can we give you this? If we did like. Whoops, this. 
We can. Um, right, and we'll take uh, the institution in a moment. That also lowers the, the cost for stability, uh, as far as I can recall. We'll look in a moment. Alright, Poland no longer valid. Oh. Um, Rogue. Uh, oops. Oh, right, we are already here. Sweden? Mm, yeah, because the other two are my allies and I want to be somewhat friendly with Denmark. So let's take Sweden. Let's embargo them immediately. Bonk. Um, right, and I guess we should take this one now. Yes, minus five cost for stability. Very nice, very nice. Okay, we got new infantry, new forts, new idea group. Mm. Let's take new horses. Latin, Carol. We want some kind of aristocratic, maybe? That leader siege is very good, and they did change it so it's better than before. And we can still gain benefit from this and use the excess points on manpower in our provinces. Um, mm, or quality, mm, quantity, oh I want them all. I think we can probably get all of them except naval ideas. So, mm, yes, let's take a restrict. Aristocratic. It's nice. Uh, yeah, the Prussian nobility. <laughs> um, yeah, still got uh, five loans. Jesus, lost Teutonic order. Okay, gained even more power projection because we eclipsed them. A revoke, Bonk. and uh, hmm. Well, let's just take Denmark then. I guess. 100. That also gives a lot of morale. Okay, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> okay, <laughs> eclipsed Sweden. Uh, damn it, we'll take England then. Uh, revoke embargo. Mm. Issue embargo. Depletion of the European beaver. Alright. Wait, are you supposed to have like at least plus or is it just new being born? Maybe. Uh, knowledge is power. Ah there we go, yeah. Now it starts. Ferdinand? Sure. Uh, it's okay. This one is crap. Hmm. Right, let's also cancel this idea. Since we are doing military ideas as well now, I guess we could probably take one of these cheaper horses. Um, maintenance. Five. Fifty-four. Uh... Right, more manpower as well. Uh, hmm, what is this? Against Poland. Ah, oh, really? Hmm. Oh, we still see this as ours, so I'll take that. What is this war about? Oh, it's about this one. Okay. Mm. Go in here. Don't get wiped. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, we're also fighting Brunsberg. Oh, uh, Brown Bru uh, uh, Brunswick. That's it. Uh, the 
can't really assist each other, but I think it's two big armies uh, uh, compared to if they... I don't think they can stack wipe them. That's what I'm trying to say. Because they're not that strong, the people we are fighting. Okay, let's also get a claim here. Oh, never mind. Here. Press, yes. Very nice. Uh, go here. Oh, go to Posnan. You got like three siege. So. some of this. Okay, hmm. go and take the leads. Who else are we fighting? Oh, the Papal State. They're pretty big, actually. Still have been divided. Oh, <laughs> the Muslims are coming back. <laughs> uh, or Morocco, I guess. Um, dramatic currency re 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 valuation. Uh, who cares? We got the natural natural decrease in inflation. Uh, um, can we? I guess we can go down and help here. Maybe gain a province from this war. If we could get past none, that would be, that would be very nice. Combine, go down here on a fort. Oh, go liberate this instead. Splat, stack wipe, nice. Should uh, be no, not even that high. Twenty percent. Hmm. Treaty of Tordesillas, colonial Car Caribbean. Some who, someone, probably Portugal. Yeah, because England is Protestants. France is colonizing the East Coast. Okay. Catholic League. Okay, we've got Genoa. We can go here. Arezzo. Mm, looking worse and worse for the Protestants. Maybe we should just join these guys. <laughs> Even though we are Protestant. Uh, okay, that was very fast. Go to Siena. Got plus eight in 1573 on siege. That's very good. Also, the finisher in Aristocratic is also very nice to siege Pip here. Okay, uh, Wurzburg. All right, that's not us. And that is going to get uh, handy later on with the level eight forts and stuff like that. I also think I will take this so we don't forget it. So we all so we get that uh, minus cost. Okay, army reformer. This guy. So I got three longs to go. Okay, go to Rome. The Eternal City. Roma. Alright, probably Paper State. Yes. Okay. That's 100%, so the war should end. How much did we do? 21%. Oh. But you like us, so you would like to give us something. No. Is that because I have no never mind. 
Ah, we did gain Posen. Posen? Posen. Oh. Alright, very nice. Um. Russian. Yeah, that. Uh, oh right, we didn't even look at the uh, wait. Uh, lose one stability. Oh, come on. We have this as well. But as far as I can tell, it only goes up when we do like this. Um. So there is that. Uh, let's, oh. Mm. Ah, let's take it. Austria is still the emperor, right? Yes. Mm, should you just join the Catholic League? You do, you do get a nice bonus to army tradition and military cost for the tech thing. So, I think I'll do it, <laughs> because it's so, well, OP. Do this. Got a lot of diplomatic power. Well, I guess we could do some <laughs> development for it, once we get to the max. Well, we're still pretty... F Eight years to go, so I guess we could do a bit of development. Two hundred. Oh, that's in Berlin, right? Right. Uh, okay. Frankfurt. Nah. How much do we need here? Uh, thirty. All right. So let's wait until thirty, and then maybe attack these guys. Denmark, Bremen, Hamburg. Repay. Oh, extend. Also, collapse these forts. We got seven forts now. All right, we do. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. I wonder if any of my allies would join. No. Oh. Uh hmm. Hmm, that's actually quite a lot. Maybe we should find an easier target. Wurzburg? Castile? Well, Castile's not that strong. Sicily? Oh, we got a... S no, that's not Sicily. Oh, Malta is Sicily. Right, right. Just check the time. All right. Hmm, could also eat... Diet masking. Okay, disregard Austria, but uh, that's almost the same as this guy. We are... Hmm. Hmm. Hmm, I'm not sure now. Maybe we should wait until two more ideas have been filled out. So we get the finisher here, plus five discipline. That usually helps. We could maybe do this. Hmm. One more. We want a lot. We want as much army tra tradition as possible. So we've got one here, and we got uh, one here. Uh, well, this is also one actually. So that's uh, that's three and uh, three and a half. I'm pretty sure there are some ideas that give army tradition like a half. I think. Is it here? Uh, no. Ah, oh, god damn it. It. So a bit slow episode this one, but uh, yeah, we uh, had a quite the war last time against well Teutonic Order, Sweden, and the Papal State. So a lot, uh, many loans were taken, but that that stuff happens. When I started playing U4, I almost never took loans um, because I didn't really like it. Oh god, damn it! Uh, guaranteed. Oh, are they joining in? No, but uh, yeah, 
you know, when you start to play Iron Man, which I did after some time, and then I only played Iron Man, you have to take loans to survive. Um, yeah. So we're only fighting... <laughs> okay, <laughs> one province, Lithuania. Keep looking at the sky, the Great Comet. Uh, should we boost it one so get up to plus two? I'm tempted. But no, I need my I need my admin points. Or something else. Hmm. Why wouldn't you join? Oh you're the Emperor. Why wouldn't you join? Because you got a debt of three thousand two hundred and seventy six. Alright. <laughs> yeah. That's understandable. Let's also do a bit of this. Okay. 49. Hmm. I think this was a white piece, right? Uh, Savoy, Prussia, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, 78. Yeah. Okay. We gain fa <laughs> four favors by doing absolutely nothing. That's wonderful. Let's take this. Let us do this. Burp. Do this. Mm, look at the time. Alright. So let's wait until this is caught and then end the episode. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, well, let's just do this then. Um, Protenic tables. Protenic. The astronomer Erasmus Reinhold was supported and financed by, financed by Albert I, Duke of Prussia, who also financed the printing of the Protenic tables. They were also called the Prussian tables and were an ephemeris or astronomical tables. Their astronom astronomical tables were ca calculated by Reinhold and based on Nicolas Copernicus. The revolutionis revolutionibus obium colestium, the epochal exposition of Copernican heliocentrism, oh Jesus, published in 1543. Reinhold intended to replace the Alphonsine tables with his Protenic tables, and added redundant tables to his new tables, so uh, that compilers, compilers of Almanac's fam familiar with the older Alphacene table could perform all the steps in an anoclegious manner. I have absolutely no idea what this is about. <laughs> Some tables. Okay. Uh, oh. Hmm. Ew. Well, we need the money, so this is too good to pass up. But until his death, I think he's somewhat young. So that's a lot of well, points to save. Can already do this and this, so let's actually abuse that, Bonk. and get the last one. Let's also do this. Even more monthly autonomy down. Oh, that's a lot. All right, so that does uh, cut the episode here. So thank you for watching. Leave a like, comment, or subscribe if you enjoy this content. I very much appreciate your support, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.